What do you do if you see a downed power line? I'm attorney Ted Sink at Ted Law Firm, and unfortunately, I've seen thousands of different ways people could hurt themselves on the highway. This is one of them. These uh, downed power lines can cause a huge shock, which I think everybody knows, but they can also damage your car. That's the thing people don't think about as much. Yeah, what do you do if you see one of these? First thing, <laughs> don't touch it. Don't even drive over it. If it's a downed power line, it could be live. It usually is, that I've, in my experience, um, treat it as if it's live, just like you would with a gun. Assume it's loaded, so assume this is live. Um, the next thing is, so after don't touch it, um, definitely don't drive over it because, and here's the trick, if these things aren't full of power, they can still snag up under the you know parts of your car, stop your car, flip it, things like that. I've unfortunately had calls uh, like that for uh, South Carolina and Georgia. Um, also, these parts here, the supporting parts, the metal, can really tear up the bottom of your car and uh, cause massive destruction. So don't drive it. And the third thing, most importantly, um, for public safety is if you could call either 911 or even better yet, uh, the Department of Transportation, if you have the time, um, just let them know about this. 911 if it's on the highway, because this needs to get cleared. This is just very, very dangerous. Uh, it could hurt and kill a lot of people. And it doesn't just, touching it isn't the only way to hurt yourself. This could be easily touching some piece of water um, and it could spread throughout the parking lot. Also, if it's this close to the ground, you can have an arc where the electricity can can jump. Even being this close is probably unwise. Don't do this. Um, anyways, I hope this is helpful. Stay safe out there. I'm attorney Ted Sink with Ted Law Firm. I've seen a thousand ways you can get hurt. Don't make this one of them.